Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So what we're going to be installing tonight is actually new lug nuts. I've been running the Project Kicks Kyokugan, I believe is how you say it, uh, for a little while now. I pretty much got these when I uh, got these wheels back in January or February of this year. I was running the Project Kicks uh, hub ring in the gold. So I wanted to find some lug nuts that had a nice gold accent. So these are really nice. I enjoyed it while it lasted, but it was something that I didn't think I was going to keep forever mainly because i usually just get normal basic black lugs um, i don't do anything crazy with them so this was kind of the first time that i really you know tried something different and i really like it but it's one of those things that kind of just want to change up and clean it up a little bit so one of the really cool things about these is actually these little caps right here um, they actually come off they're made of aluminum so you can just unscrew them uh, and you can run them open-ended if you wanted to. If you had extended studs, they can come right through. And you can actually change out these caps to different colors if you wanted to. Uh, they have black, red, blue, uh, and gold as well. Um, so these are really hard to come by, just the caps. So, you know, they're pretty, I think they're like a hundred bucks just for the caps. Um, so it's a little crazy. Um, the lugs alone are like 170 bucks. But either way, they're very, very nice, uh, very strong. They're made of a chromoly. Um, so, you know, they're, they're light, but they're also very, very strong. So, so while I was at RT tuning, I actually came across another project kicks set. These are the project kicks, leg door racing, door aluminum and chromoly two piece shell type lock and nut set. Jeez, that is a mouthful. Uh, but they're really, really nice. They're actually much longer. These are 53 millimeters as opposed to, I think the current ones are, uh, like 30 millimeters or 26 millimeters. They're very, very small. Um, these are a little bit longer, uh, but I'll open these up in a second. But the really cool thing about this is they're actually open-ended, but they're not actually open-ended. They have the open-ended look, but if you look inside, it's actually closed off. Running open-ended lug nuts is not necessarily the best thing to do um, if you drive your car every day, mainly because the water sits in that opening uh, and they kind of rust out. Uh, so, you know, obviously if it's a track car and you're running extended studs or something like that, uh, then it's really no big deal. But something that you drive every day, I very, um, you know, I highly suggest not running open-ended. Um, so this is kind of the look of an open-ended, but it is actually closed. So it's, it's uh, you know, I always prefer the look of open-ended. So it's nice to kind of have best of both worlds. So somebody actually already purchased these lug nuts. I know a lot of people are going to ask if they're for sale. You know, am I going to sell them? Uh, but they're actually already sold. Somebody already snagged these. I'm going to swap out with the new Project Kicks ones. Um, and we'll see how it looks. Kind of clean some things up a little bit. Uh, I may change up the hub ring as well. Just go to a basic plastic one. Um, just to kind of get rid of that gold and change it up and clean things up a little bit. So we shall see. For now, I'm still going to run the, the uh, gold Project Kicks hub ring. Um, and then I'll, you know, maybe down the line or something, I'll change up to a black one. But let's go ahead. Let's open these up. Let's take a look and see what they look like and then uh, get them on the car. All right. So the nice part about these is they are two piece. One thing I really never really liked about uh, lug nuts is when you tighten them down, you're obviously putting a socket on the nice part of the lug nut. Uh, and then it ends up getting scratched and gets a little, you know, beat up over time, especially if you're changing wheels or, you know, doing a lot of work to your car and constantly taking the wheels off. You can get pretty dinged up um, and it's kind of disappointing when you spend, you know, 170 bucks on lug nuts and they look like crap after, you know, a year or so. Not that these do, but just generally over time. Um, but if you look at these, really, really nice, very, very clean. But as you can see, it says two piece. And what does it mean by two piece is this actual whole shell comes off. So this is the actual lug nut. This goes on the stud. You tighten this down. Then once this is torqued, you take the shell, put it over the top, screw it down, and you're done. So this part always stays nice and uh, fresh looking. It always looks new. So I really like that concept. I think that's a really good idea. Um, plus, you know, it doesn't really matter if these get dinged up a little bit because this part just covers it. Um, this is also a locking set as well. This whole row right here is the locking set. So if we open this one, um, you can see what the locking nut looks like. Um, so as you can tell, it's a little bit different. So it's not the basic six-sided uh, nut. This is actually, you know, as you can see, it's very specific to this uh, actual key. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, obviously, no tool can get on there besides that specific key. Um, and then all the other ones are just the basic six-sided lug nut. So it's a really, really nice set. So same thing, this just screws right on top of it. Um, so it's really nice, you can't even tell which one's the lock. 
Uh, so really, really cool design. Looks very, very clean. These do come in other colors as well. Uh, they have the black, red, and blue. Usually I stray away from doing any colored lug nuts, something like this, besides the ones I just had, these. Uh, mainly because they usually fade over time, despite them being very expensive and a high quality brand. Um, anything anodized like this usually fade. The reds usually turn to pinks. The blues look like a very, very washed out blue over time. Uh, but blacks, they always seem to stay looking nice. Um, so that's why I decided to go with black. Nothing too crazy. These things run about 190 or so. Um, I've seen them a little bit more expensive, but the best deal I found was, uh, I got them from Subi Speed. They were uh, $188, $190, something like that. Uh, so yes, expensive, but they are nice, especially if you see them in person. It is a very, very high quality lug. Um, obviously, all lugs are created equal, basically. They all do the same thing. They hold the wheels onto the actual hub of the car. So, you know, just the basic $60 Muteki lugs or something like that, they'll do just fine. Uh, but I usually strive to go out and find something a little bit nicer and a little bit different. Uh, and this is just one of those things. So let's go ahead and throw these on the car, see how they look. Um, and then uh, we'll wrap this video up. As you can see, very, very clean. I really do enjoy that look. Um, I think I'm really going to end up changing the hub ring as well to clean it up. So if you kind of look down, you get an idea of just how much cleaner it looks without that gold hub ring. Um, as much as I love that Project Kicks hub ring, I think it's time to change it up. I think it'll actually make the brake stand out a little bit more if you clean up the, uh, the gold there. But obviously you guys don't need to see me do the entire car. Uh, you get the idea. It's pretty straightforward just changing out lug nuts. Now, a lot of people are going to say you should jack up the car, but I do it this way all the time. Anytime I'm changing lug nuts, simply because the wheel's actually sitting on the hub of the car, the lug nuts just hold it on. And the wheel's already centered on the hub uh, with the hub centric ring and obviously being torqued down prior. Um, so it goes straight on. Uh, I've had never had an issue doing it this way. So, um, you know, do whatever way you want. If you want to jack the car up, you can do it that way. But I just found it to be easier and easiest to do it this way as well. And I've never had an issue. So, all right, let me go around the car, finish it up, and then I'll show you the finished product. Also for anybody curious about how to actually tighten down the uh, outer coverings, um, it comes with a plastic little key. Um, so as you can see, it says use the hole to loosen. So if you want to loosen it, you can put a screwdriver in there and twist it to break it loose. And you only want to hand tighten them. So all we're going to do is go up to the lug, put the little plastic key on and then twist a little bit so it's tightened up. I already went around and did it all, but I thought I would show that because that is a nice little feature. Um, Cause I'm sure a lot of people are wondering how you tighten them without getting those all dinged up. But yeah, cool little thing. All right guys, project complete. Turned out really nice. Really enjoy the new look. I think it looks good on their race car. As you can kind of see, um, it's closed off even though it looks open-ended. So it's really nice. Sorry, the wheels are dirty. I didn't get a chance to wash it this weekend. Uh, but you guys get the idea. I think we're going to pick up uh, some black hub centric rings to get rid of that gold. I think it's going to clean it up nicely and look a lot better. Uh, but the gold still looks good. In person, it looks really, really nice. Um, it always reminds me of like a very fine, very nice detailed watch um, with all the little details and colors and stuff. So it looks really good. But I think the black will look a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. Um, since I really don't have any other gold on the car. So here are the old ones that are currently sold. These things are very, very nice. Very, very small. The uh, ones I just put on are 53 millimeters. So it's the RL53. Uh, I have to look these up, but these are pretty, pretty small. Uh, these are really nice, but again, I just got tired of the gold look. Um, so I'm going to send those out to the new owner. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Very, very simple install. Very simple mod, uh, but it definitely cleans up the wheel area and it was one of those mods that i enjoyed doing it was simple <laughs> you know just literally taking nuts off and putting new nuts on <laughs> uh, but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions at all be sure to ask them below but in the meantime keep it clean keep it simple i'll catch you in the next